good day. Welcome to our online class. Today's lesson will end our discussion about the types of plate boundaries. We're done talking about bumping plates and breaking plates. Now, we are about to tackle the third type, the transform fault boundaries. You will know what happens when plates glide to each other. So get yourself ready. Grab your pen and notebook. Scoop and write things you find important. I am Teacher Dags. And let us have happy learning here at Science Scoop. Here are the objectives of our lesson for today. At the end of this video lesson you should describe transform fault boundaries. You are also expected to differentiate the two types of transform fault boundaries. Another objective of this video lesson is for you to determine the effects of transform fault boundaries. The last objective of this lesson is for you to be able to recognize the wonderful results of the types of plate boundaries. Before we go to our discussion about gliding plates, let us have this simple activity that will make you recall the first two types of plate boundaries that we have already discussed. Let's call this marking boundaries. In this activity, you will see 12 words that you can relate to either converging boundaries or diverging boundaries. Thus, you need your pen and notebook this time. Make a table with two columns and seven rows. In the first row, under the first column write converging plates, and for the second column, write diverging plates. The 12 words are divided into three sets. For every set, you have 15 seconds to write your answer accordingly. After the third set, the correct answers will be shown. I hope you answer this activity with flying colors. Are you ready? Then grab your pen and use your brain cells. These are the words for set 1. Mark their boundaries now. Okay relax. These are the words for set 2. Mark their boundaries now. We are almost done. Now, mark the boundaries of our set 3. Start writing your answer. Let us now check the answers for the activity. For the first column or the column for converging boundaries, check the following words in no particular order. Mountains. High plateau. Subduction. Bump. Island arc and destructive. For the second column or the column for the divergent boundaries, these are the words. Rift valley. Constructive. Wider ocean. Separate. Form new crust and ridges. How's your score? I bet you've got a good one. Let's now discuss the last type of plate boundaries. This short video shows what happens to transform fault boundaries. Can you see what is happening? How do plates move? Is there a subduction zone? Is there a gap between the plates? What is formed when plates glide to each other? We will answer all these questions as we have our discussion about the last type of plate boundaries. Transform fault boundaries happen when two plates slide past one another. The fracture that forms a transform fault boundary is known as a transform fault. Most of the transform faults of the Earth are found in the ocean basin. Transform fault boundaries are called as the conservative type of plate boundaries because along the sliding plates, the Earth's lithosphere is neither created nor destroyed. In this type of boundaries, rocks are displaced along the shearing zone. This picture shows the displaced rocks at Pinnacles National Park, California. At the shearing zone or where the plates glide against each other, shallow earthquakes happen frequently. Massive rocks are torn apart and displaced tens to hundred miles away along this area. There are two types of transform fault boundaries. Oceanic Oceanic Transform Fault Boundaries and the Continental Continental Transform Fault Boundaries. Majority of the sliding plates are located at the ocean basins. 
So let's discuss the oceanic oceanic transform fault boundaries first. This map shows an example of oceanic oceanic transform fault boundaries. As you can see, the Caribbean plate is sliding east northwest to North American plate. The two plates are capped by oceanic crust. The plates move around 0.8 inches or 2 centimeters per year. This is the result of the shearing plates of Caribbean and North America, the Virgin Islands. This Virgin Island National Park is a sheared up landscape having a number of displaced rocks. The other type of transform fault boundaries happens when a continental plate slides or glides against another continental plate. There are only few continental continental transform fault boundaries. Before I give you examples of the continental continental transform fault boundaries, I will tell you a shocking trivia. Do you know that the Pacific plate carries a little continental crust? Here, at the edge of the Pacific plate, it has that continental crust. Thus the motion between the North American plate and Pacific plate at this point is continental continental transform fault boundaries. The shearing plates have resulted to California's sheared up landscape. One of the evidences of gliding plates is the appearance of fault along a narrow valley like the San Andreas Fault of California. This feature is the famous San Andreas Fault. Along this fault, destructive earthquakes have happened in North America. The North American people call the next possible tremendous shake as their big one. Despite the danger this fault could give, it showcases a spectacular scenery along the coastal regions of California. This is another continental continental transform fault boundaries between the Pacific Plate and the Indo-Australian Plate. As these two plates slide past each other Alpine Fault formed in New Zealand. Good question scoopers. In transform fault boundaries no crust is melted nor destroyed. In transform fault boundaries no magma is released to become new crust. Remember, transform fault boundaries cannot cause the formation of volcanoes and rift valleys. This type of boundaries can only displace rocks. Let me tell you the possible results of sliding plates more. These are the things you should not forget. Transform fault boundaries do not result to the formation of volcanoes nor rift valleys. In absolute transform fault boundaries, the subduction zone is not involved, thus the crust will not be melted to form magma. No rift valleys will be formed. The gliding plates do not generate a gap like what others movie have shown. Volcanism will not happen in pure transform fault boundaries. The sure results of transform fault boundaries are frequent earthquakes, rock displacement, and fault along a narrow valley. Before I end my lecture about transform fault boundaries, I want to repeat this. Sliding or gliding plates is the conservative type of plate boundaries. It only results to rock displacement and frequent earthquakes. Aside from displaced rocks and earthquakes, faults along narrow valley may be formed like in Alpine Fault and San Andreas Fault. And that is the end of our discussion about the three types of plate boundaries. I hope that you clearly understand how the lithospheric plates behave. For you to appreciate the results of plate tectonics, let us have this wonderful exercise. Let's call this, Wonders I Wonder. In this activity I will show you pictures of wonderful sceneries around the globe. Tell what kind of plate boundaries form each wonder. You have 10 seconds per picture. After the given time, I will tell you the answer. Are you ready? I hope you remember the results of each type of plate boundaries. What type of plate boundary caused this wonder to be formed? Mountains are formed because of convergent boundaries. What type of plate boundary caused this wonder to be formed? Iceland volcanoes are formed because of divergent boundaries. What type of plate boundary caused this wonder to be formed?
Linear valleys like Alpine Valley are formed because of transform fault boundaries. What type of plate boundary caused this wonder to be formed? Island Arc is formed because of convergent boundaries. What type of plate boundary caused this wonder to be formed? Ridges are formed because of divergent boundaries. What type of plate boundary caused this wonder to be formed? Fault along narrow valley is formed in transform fault boundaries. What type of plate boundary caused this wonder to be formed? Linear C is formed because of divergent boundaries. What type of plate boundary caused this wonder to be formed? Displacement of massive rocks is due to transform fault boundaries. What type of plate boundary caused this wonder to be formed? Rift Valley is formed because of divergent boundaries. What type of plate boundary caused this wonder to be formed? Trench is formed because of convergent boundaries. What type of plate boundary caused this wonder to be formed? Mountains are formed because of convergent boundaries. What type of plate boundary caused this wonder to be formed? Volcanic arc is formed because of convergent boundaries. Can you believe that? Those views are spectacular. The Earth is really amazing. We can see all those views because of the lithospheric plates move. I hope you enjoy our learning about plate tectonics and plate boundaries. If you have any question or reaction or even suggestion you may put that in the comment section. Before we run out of time, let me share you this quotation, let us not glide through this world and then slip quietly into heaven, without having blown the trumpet loud and long for our Redeemer, Jesus Christ by C.T. Studd. The bell has just rung. See you next lesson. Goodbye.